Hello friends. As we have been talking about, this Sunday will be Father's Day. So today we will continue to read more books about Father's Day and how other people celebrate Father's Day. Maybe that will give you some more ideas. We love our dad. Sister, brother, and honey bear love their papa. They loved him very much. After all, he was always there for them. He baited their hooks when they went fishing. He threw them fly balls when they played catch. He was their sled puller on their way to the top of Dead Bear Hill. He carried them on his shoulders when they got tired and rushed them to the doctor when they were hurt. He told them funny stories, corny jokes. He read to them at bedtime, tucked them in, and kissed them goodnight. Yes, the cubs certainly loved their papa bear, but sometimes they took him a bit for granted. After all, he was always there. They never even noticed some of the things he did, like working. Papa worked very hard. He worked in the shop all day making furniture. Oh, so he must be a community helper who, work, who makes furnitures. He worked fixing things up around the house. He worked doing chores like mowing the lawn or shoveling snow or taking out the trash. It's true that Papa enjoyed working, but he enjoyed getting credit for it sometimes too. One warm spring morning, not long after Mother's Day, the cubs were talking about what they would do for Father's Day. Mama was listening to them nearby. Let's make Papa a big family album with pictures of us doing stuff with him, said sister. We just gave Mama an album like that for Mother's Day, said brother. Oh yeah, said sister. Honey Bear was looking out the window, watching Papa mowing the lawn. Papa working, she said. What's that, honey? asked Mama. Papa working, said Honey, pointing. Hmm, said Mama. Honey just had a good idea. She did, said brother and sister. Yes, said Mama. Your Papa works very hard. It would be a nice gift if you cubs did his job for him on Father's Day and let him relax. Now that they thought about it, it was true. Papa did work all the time. He could use a rest. Way to go, honey bear, said sister and brother, giving her high fives. The cubs decided to make gift certificates that Papa could cash in for the jobs they would do. All that day, they followed him around, spying on him. They checked off the jobs he did on the clipboard. Carrying wood, said sister. Carrying wood, check, said brother. Check, said honey. Painting the garage, said sister. Painting the garage, check, said brother. Check, said honey. Replacing loose tree barks on tree house, said sister. Replacing loose tree barks, check, said brother. Check, said honey. The cubs followed Papa the next day too. They didn't put furniture making on their list because they didn't know how to make furniture. But they did check off things like trimming the rose bushes, putting up fence frails and cleaning out the basement. That evening, they made a gift certificate for each job. The gift certificates looked like this. Look here, friends. They made a gift certificate for cleaning the workshop, for washing the car, mowing the lawn, taking the trash out. I bet our friends, you guys can all make gift certificates like that for your dad too. What can you think of? The cubs couldn't wait for Father's Day to arrive so they could surprise him with their special gift. 
On Father's Day, the cubs woke up bright and early. They waited until nearly 6 a.m. before running into Mama and Papa's room and jumping on the bed. Happy Father's Day, Papa, they yelled. Huh? What? said Papa sleepily. Is it Father's Day? Of course it is, said the cubs. Open your present. They gave him a big envelope. Papa thought it was a card. Why, thank you, he said. But when he opened it, the gift certificate spilled out. What's this, he asked. They're gift certificates you cash in for us to do your jobs, explained brother. You can just relax all day. What a thoughtful gift, said Papa. That was Honey's idea. Thank you, honey, said Papa, giving all his thoughtful cubs a big hug. I think I'd like to spend the day just watching football, said Papa. It's Father's Day, said Mama. You can do whatever you like. Wow, said Papa, settling down in his easy chair in front of the TV. I could get used to this. Papa cashed in his gift certificate and the cubs set to work. Their first job was washing the car. They got out buckets, soap, cloth, and the garden hose. They scrubbed and washed and rinsed, but the car still seemed a little dirty. Papa, they called, we're having trouble. Can you help us? Of course, he said, looking things over. You just need more elbow grease. I'll show you. So Papa and the cubs scrubbed and washed and rinsed together. When they were done, the car was bright and clean and shiny. You go and relax now, Papa, said the cubs. We'll do the rest. Their next job was cleaning up the wood chips in Papa's shop. The cubs got out dustpans, brooms, and a shop vacuum and set to work. They swept and cleaned and vacuumed, but the shop still looked a little dirty. Papa, they called. We're having trouble. Can you help us? Of course, he said, looking things over. You just need to give it more room. I'll show you. So Papa and the cubs swept and cleaned and vacuumed together. When they were done, the shop was spick and span. You go relax now, Papa, said the cubs. We'll do the rest. Their next job was spreading grass seed on the bare spots in the lawn. The cubs got out rakes and bags of seed. Brother raked the hard-packed earth while sister and honey spread the seed. But they soon got tired. There were still a lot of bare spots left. Papa, they called. We're having trouble. Can you help us? Of course, he said, looking things over. You just need more muscle power. I'll show you. So Papa and the cubs raked and spread the seed. When they were done, every bare spot on the lawn was covered with new seed. You go and relax now, Papa, said the cubs. We'll do the rest. But Papa shook his head. Actually, he said, I'm getting bored just watching TV. It's more fun doing things with you. What shall we do next? How about a game of baseball, said brother. Perfect, said Papa. So the whole family played ball. Brother, sister, and Honey took turns pitching, batting, and fielding. Papa was catcher and Mama was the ump. A wonderful Father's Day was had by all. At bedtime, the cubs took turns jumping off their beds onto a big cushion. It isn't fair, said brother as Papa helped him into his pajamas. There's Mother's Day and a Father's Day. Why isn't there a Cub's Day? Papa smiled at Mama Bear. I haven't the faintest idea, he said.
Papa and Mama tucked the cubs in and turned out the light. Did you have a good Father's Day, Papa? asked Sister. Yes, sweetie, said Papa, kissing her brother and honey goodnight. The best Father's Day ever. The end. Friends, Papa Bear had a fantastic Father's Day while he was doing a lot of things with the cubs. So, hmm, what can you do with your dad on Father's Day? They make gift certificates in the book. Maybe you can do something like that for your dad as well. I hope you enjoyed the book, friends.